Hi everybody, it's Robin from Talks from the Heart. Well, in this video, I'm gonna share a little bit of my personal life with you, and I'm also gonna share some, some, hard, uh, some hard facts. I, on January 2nd, was diagnosed with type two diabetes. I want to assure you that I am um, very well taken care of by a fabulous physician and also a licensed dietitian. So, um, you know, I welcome all comments, but I just want to let you know that um, I'm doing relatively well compared to what I was doing. And um, I did have some, some very kind of very severe signs and um, I went to the doctor and uh, yes, I got diagnosed. And so I had to take my eating habits in hand and get real serious. So in this video, I'm going to decorate a week, the current week, um, and try to do it with you guys. I'm not so good at it. Um, I just tried to film something in my journal and I personally thought it was kind of boring, but we'll see once I edit it. But um, I'm going to show you my health journal. I am not going to um, edit things out because numbers are what they are and weight is what it is and um, journaling is is what it is. So there's there's nothing in here that I'm unaware that I'm sharing on the internet and I've made that decision to do that. So um, these are the stickers that I'm currently in love with. They're from Planning with Kay. It's a new favorite shop of mine. And then I'm gonna use a Crayola Super Tip and um, decorate the week. As anything else, I want it to be a happy place for me to be. And of course, you know, I can't help myself. I got to have the stickers, so <laughs> it is what it is. I'm going for one of my follow-up exams tomorrow, and um, I'm sure that my doctor is gonna be like, "What? What is this?" And I'm gonna be like, "It's just the way I have to cope. It's just the way I have to cope." So this is my Gelio cover, and um, I recycled it, obviously. We'll just go over some of the basics because that's what us planner people do and it's important to us. So I always have a Pookie Bear Cuties card in every planner cover that I own. I also have begun to have this, which in every planner cover if I can. Um, this is a fabulous card from Oki Plans. I believe you find them under journaling cards, but I'm not sure. And this circle says, you know, in my control, how I speak to myself, my actions and thoughts, what I give my energy to, how I spend my free time, Time, the goals I set and my boundaries and then out of my control is the outer circle the actions of others the past the outcome of my efforts the future the opinions of others what happens around me how others take care of themselves and what other people think of me this is just I've ordered numerous ones of them and what I do is I laminate them if you guys don't own your own personal laminator um not trying to sound like an infomercial, but I do I um, I do have one in my Amazon cart, and it's like, I don't know, it's under $50, and honestly, you'll just get the use out of it, I promise you. Um, this is also something that was in here that I didn't get rid of from Oki Plans, and then Shine Sticker Studios, my friend Heather gave this to me, so I keep that um, close. So this is a ma magnetic charm from Planning with Kay. I'm in love with her shop. I'm in love with the magnetic charms. And um, I have one in every one of my planner covers. So um, I'm trying to figure out, I probably should have warned you, um, get a cup of coffee and relax. And I hope you enjoy this video. Um, so I was godsmacked, to be honest with you. Um, I was in denial about some of the symptoms. I thought it was something else. And um, it's nothing earth shattering, but it was a lot of pain a lot of um, denial for about six months. And what I realized now was my symptoms and pain and things that I was feeling, numbness, um, was, uh, was a result of end stage, like serious type two diabetes. So this, this was not, I, I was not okay for a couple of days. And um, so I, I really, um, for the first, couple of days I didn't really even chart anything because I was so godsmacked I mean seriously so um, I actually feel really blessed that um, I have good health care 
and that I have people around me who love me, who are encouraging me, and um, who are answering questions for me. And I also have a licensed dietitian that's basically a pseudo family member, who, and he's helping me for free. So he takes my calls and my texts whenever I need them, and I'm just, I just feel so blessed. The other blessing was I had this paper test designs, um, undated planner where the back is a bunch of journal pages and then you have this horizontal view you guys this planner i'm going to try to give you a close-up is unbelievably perfect i mean I, I ordered it with no intention of ever knowing what i was going to use it for and i just couldn't believe it but i came into my planner room and i was just like i need to start a health journal I need to figure this out. And I looked at this and I thought, oh my goodness. So I took an entire day and just started making notes of things that I wanted to chart, what my goals were, um, things I, um, well, needed to keep track of. And then also um, just basically, I've never done this before. And I just started just brainstorming. And so it took about two or three weeks to figure out how I wanted to do this and how I wanted to lay it out and I feel like now which is why I'm filming I feel like now this is this is a good week for me to show you what's been working consistently the same layout for the last two weeks I don't have much in here for decoration because to be honest with you I've been spending the last two weeks really just concentrating on getting used to my new reality changing my eating habits um if it touches my lips and I put it in my mouth and I chew it and I swallow it, I write it down. So um, one day I had like four lifesavers and I wrote it down because this is not that for me. And remember, okay, I should also say this is my story. This is all good for me. You do what's good for you and you do what's good and what your physician tells you. Okay. Um <clears throat> I can't express that strongly enough. And I will do what he, I will do what my physician tells me. Um, that's my subtle way of saying, yes, I welcome all comments, but please, 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 you know, I mean, they don't have to be all squishy comments and like, oh, you know, you're drooling all over me. It, you just have to kind of realize that um, everybody has their own doctor and everybody's told something different based on their numbers and based on what their situation is. And so you just, you know, all or every, I couldn't be a physician, you guys, because everybody's body is different and they respond to medication differently and all the things. So, you know, I did speak to a couple of friends on whether or not I should share this video. And, you know, it was reminded to me that a lot of people have a lot of opinions. And so I just want you to know that I totally understand that, but I have to do what my physician tells me to do. Um, <clears throat> I hope that makes sense. Um, okay, so I put this posted here because I thought this could be a monthly recap with my starting and ending numbers. I'm not sure if I'm going to do that only because um, my um, dietitian says don't look at each individually day number because you'll drive yourself crazy running a marathon, not a sprint. And I thought, okay, so I'm not sure what to do with this. I may just have to cover it up with big stickers. I don't know. I got a couple of um, I got a couple of big stickers in the mail yesterday and you know um where are they hang on kind of nervous you guys um you know these would send a good message to me too you know well not this one <laughs> but like just live simply you know um trust yourself i might put those in there yeah i think i might um i will do that later to save time because i feel like you know um, I have to be careful not to make this too long-winded. Oh, here's a sticker from the previous setup. There's a sneak peek. <laughs> okay, one thing is after I got really, like, over the shock, because I was telling myself how healthy I was, and I was telling myself, you know, it doesn't run in the family, and blah, 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 and all the, all the bullcrap lies that I was telling myself, um... Once I got over the shock of that, and then I cried for a couple of days, um, that's when I was able to like sit down and um, do this. And then the other thing that happened too, simultaneously, was Cooper. Cooper was getting sick, and he got diagnosed 
with Cushing's disease. So now he's on four meds and he's only on the other two because um, they think he got food poisoning or something from the homemade food I made him. So you guys, I have just been kicked in the shins like 8,000 times this month since January 2nd. And um, it's just like, so what I'm doing is, this is Cooper and I's health journal. I am writing everything, like here he threw up two times in the night, here he threw up four times, here he had diarrhea. So I'm charting all this because we go back here on the 5th, I gotta write that in. Um, for a follow-up exam for his Cushing's disease, I go the 30th for my follow-up on my doctor to see how all the meds are doing. I write down if I've um, bought prescriptions, refills, all everything. You guys, if Cooper sneezes now, it gets written here. And um, you'll see in a minute how detailed I get with mine. So the monthlies are for um, doctor visits blood draws, and anything that I feel needs to be written here. So here's where I got my scripts filled. Um, here's where um, Cooper had to go back on the um, Epiquil. That's expensive. You know, and I used to joke that Cooper doesn't have a budget, and now I'm like, well, <laughs> no, he does. He does not have a budget. I will mortgage the house before I will let anything happen to that boy. But his his meds now are close to almost $300 a month. So, um, yeah. All right, we're not gonna concentrate too much on the stickers. So this is an undated, so I've gone in and I didn't fully do the date dots for the entire year, but I will now because now I know that the layout works. I didn't wanna commit to the planner. All right, here we go. So first, so I started on the sixth and the left side, so this is, the, well, I showed you the layout. Never mind. Um, the left side is my food. If I put it in my mouth, it gets written down. Um, I do not cheat. I do not lie to myself because now is not the time. And here I started out with the pain level because I have some numbness and some pain. Then my AM and PM meds, my sleep hours, because I think that's... Um, if I get good sleep, I feel better the next day. Um, obviously, I know that sounds silly, but um, you know, I, I just I just felt like my sleep hours were something I needed to chart. And after I spoke with Aaron, my dietitian, um, I really, I I was right. The sleep is important. So my glucose numbers, my weight, um, and then I was charting Cooper's AM PM meds, and then I was charting my fasting and grocery list and water okay so that's how i started then i moved into still pain this means low medium and high okay if you can see that here let's concentrate on this low medium high did i take my am pm meds did i get my water in did i poop did cooper get his meds did i take a nap i don't know why i felt like i should chart if i took a nap but i feel like First of all, what's happening is I am not as tired, obviously, doy. I mean, and I'm saying doy to myself. I'm not as tired. And um, sometimes I would just take a nap to escape. And um, I'll just tell you why. I'm having numbness in my feet and my pinky fingers still are half numb. But before all of these changes, my pinky and my ring finger were totally numb. And now it's gone in my ring finger and only half in my pinky and my feet are so much better. But I was also having shooting pain going through my feet. I know my, I know my friends would be like, why'd you share all that? I think it's relative, I th not relative. I think it's important. I think it's important to know that I wasn't having the telltale signs of like my urine didn't smell funny. I wasn't peeing constantly. I had a friend who just got diagnosed and he was peeing and his pee was like sugar, he said. I'm like, what the heck? I'm like, dude, you gotta go get tested. And he did, and his numbers were worse than mine. So, um, you know, it's, I was, I was telling myself I didn't have it because I was looking at all of the um, pigeonholed reasons why I didn't have it, you know, the pee, you know, and anything. So I, I circle back to the napping and I look back now and I realize that I was napping way too much for somebody my age who was getting eight, a full eight hours of sleep, if that makes sense. So charting my glucose, 
my weight, my sleep hours. So you can see the, the layout kind of changed a little bit. Let me get you in focus. My eyes have gone funky all of a sudden too. So um, stopped eating by 8 p.m. And then um, Monday the 15th. Yeah, so let's take this off. I've had to order more of these because these are amazing. Uh, Tokyo Pen Shop has them, silver and brass. Okay, so here I started. This is when I finally decided to call Aaron. I, I was avoiding that too because I just needed the, all the questions answered. And I also just needed a moment to catch my breath, all right? So once I talked to him, he told me, okay, now this is what he told me. You do what your professionals tell you is to count the carbs and not look at the sugar. Um, he said the sugar grams are built into the carb grams. And I'm like, all right. So based on my height and weight, he gave me the amount of carbs I'm allowed to have. So that's when I implemented carbs over here. And then I realized I wasn't going to have enough space. Um, so that's when I put the carbs in parentheses next to the food. Okay, so here then still pain level, took my AMPM meds, got my water in. Because I also noticed back here, I wasn't getting my water in. That's another thing is, um, I, I drank for years, I drank tons of water. And I told myself, oh, you're a water drinker. Well, I'm realizing now I'm not as thirsty as I was, but I still get my um, eight, eight ounce glasses of water in a day because it's important. And I'm not trying to lose weight. I'm trying to get my glucose level down and to be healthier. And um, so... I want to make sure I get my water in. I also want to make sure I'm still pooping because I am eating a lot of protein, which also can, if you get that out of balance and you don't eat enough fiber, that can also cause me, Robin, to not do a doo-doo every day. Um, stop, And then I want to stop eating by 8 p.m. And I always have done that most of the time, but then my meter said, um, try eating earlier in the evening or something when my numbers were high and so I thought okay so now I've got it down to actually um I give myself till eight but I kind of stop eating by seven and I'm not even hungry so and then of course we're charting doodles meds and um my sleep hours and here I'm also writing was it a good sleep or restless or bad because Cooper was getting me up poor thing and then also my dietitian Aaron said, um, have a snack an hour before bed, five to 10 grams of protein, because it'll tell your body not to create so much glucose in the night and it'll help your numbers. So I also want to make sure that I track this. So for somebody who's not a tracker, um, I am keeping up with this because I'm really super serious about, about not dying. I mean, it's, it's, I'm, I'm not making a joke. It's just like straight up, like, yeah, not, was not happy news. Um, so again, pain meds, took meds, and I'm just kind of going over this glucose weight. And I, I don't weigh every day. And then today I thought I'm just going to weigh Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. And, um, so sleep hours again, and then do I have the small snack and then my grocery list? So like um, I have for my treat, I get one treat a day and um, I have sometimes uh, Cool Whip with uh, sugar-free Jello, and it's three carbs, okay? Now back here is my journal pages. And honestly, I don't think there's anything here that I'm concerned about sharing. Um, you know, it's just going to be really blunt. Um, but here I just started um, charting my wins, my fails, my thoughts. I've been using these um, transparent stickers from Sterling Inc. for wins and fails to just kind of mark them. And then I've been using these um, Hobonichi Weeks Days of the Week stickers for um, the headers. And I love it. So I just decorated a little bit. And I also am putting the month up there because I don't want to have to hunt for what month it is, okay? And there are no shortcuts. This was a big, um, big hello day for me because I'll show you why. So um, I was advised that this could, pro Premier Protein Drinks could, could be an option for me um, 
for low carbs, high protein. And so I went and I spent so much time at Walmart looking at these and I bought all the flavors. I um, took pictures of them with my Canon Ivy and then wrote what they were, wrote the calories and wrote the carbs, and then I was gonna rate it. And I had two, like I think I had one one day and then I thought, well, I'll try another one and they're gross. I just gave them away to my friend. I'm like, well, I can't, I mean, you know what? I will spend my carbs some other way, but I will not. This felt like I was drinking chemicals and um, I did not like them. So now I know. Now I tried, and these are still in my fridge. I do eat this, but I've, um, I tried a couple of, I bought a couple of yogurts, I bought one of each and I still need to try them. But this is how I'm keeping track of the things that I'm eating and trying that is new. So like Italian Olive Garden Italian dressing is fabulous and it's only two carbs per two tablespoons and that's plenty for a salad so I love it and then this is one carb for two tablespoons and one carb for two tablespoons and so I thought okay let's try it so I still haven't opened these yet so they're not rated then I bought this Quest brand and then this pure protein protein bars and here here's a story you guys I can't be trusted these this let's see where is it the quest chocolate chip cookie dough bar holy mother of all that is true it tastes exactly like a candy bar i loved it i moaned when i ate the first one and then it was it was downhill from there i mean all of my good eating habits that i had formed in three weeks and i realized that they weren't embedded yet because it had only been three weeks just went to the wayside i went off the rails i didn't start eating candy and cookies and cake but i started eating two and three of these a day and i'm like oh no and i could sense it i could sense that i was prioritizing this over proper food and I went, all right, I can't, this is not a shortcut for me. I cannot be trusted with these. This is not going to work for me. And I know I've had people tell me, oh, but it's a meal replacement. Yeah, not for Robin. For Robin, it's a snack and it's a candy bar. And I can eat, I could eat four of them in one sitting and it wouldn't phase me. So for whatever reason, this is a trigger food for me. I cannot have it. I did try the Catalina Crunch cookies that are like kind of like oreos and those are okay you can have two of them for 12 grams and i bought these from amazon i'm gonna i'm gonna keep them around because they they're not as tempting and then these chips are pretty okay um so they're there for an option for me again they're not a trigger food like i still have two little bags of these and a box and a half of this left and they've been sitting there for two weeks so um yeah it just these protein bars are like candy bars and I just, you know, I ended up, oh yeah, this Quest cookie is like chocolate cake and I love cake and cake is one of my triggers, but for whatever reason, this also isn't a trigger. I've had a cup, I have a couple of these sitting in the kitchen and it's fine. I take that as my treat when I have to work in the office. So I, I don't know, this, 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 and this, I'm like, it was bad. It was so bad. <sighs> And I called my mom and I'm like, mom, it was like, she was my sponsor. I'm like, you got, you got to talk me off the ledge. I'm about to eat all of the protein bars. She's like, don't do it. <laughs> but she was really sweet and kind. And she just spent time with me and we just talked it out. I hung up the phone and I got through that evening without eating another one. And then the next day I just went and I I ate two of them in one sitting and I went, I got up from the couch and I went, I have to throw them away. They just can't be in the house. So um, when I try new foods, I take up and then the back is notes from when I um, was on the phone with Aaron. Um, so when I try new foods, that's what I'm going to do is take pictures and then chart them so that I've got some kind of record. I'm reaching in the back because this is the stuff that I keep. Um, keep in here for when I'm ready to set up the week. So I think, I think that's about it. I know that was a lot of deep, deep conversation, but, um, yeah, it's just, you know, if you're, oh, and this is a Crayola super tip and it's this gorgeous rose pink and I'm not a bullet journal person. But if you're dealing with something where you have to chart um, 
you have to chart stuff, I can only tell you that it is fantabulous to have a place to just write everything. All right, so this is my ruler from Krell's Creations, and I just draw a non-fancy pen line so that I have that entire space for all my food. Okay. All right. And I don't... I couldn't be a bullet journaler. I watch people draw straight lines, and I don't know how they do it. All right. So I've been using my Klena, and I'm going to trade that out. Now I lost... Oh, here. I lo oh, here it rolled away. I lost the cap to this. I just want to make sure it stays capped. So I'm still not 100% familiar with the layout. So I just draw skinny line on top. And then, yep, and then I just color in these for header lines. I wish I had custom scripts, but again, not the time to spend money on that. And um, I may hit, I may hit a time in my life when I don't need this. One, two, three, one, two, three. But maybe not. I don't know. Again, that's something that I've also told myself once I talked to Aaron because I was getting frustrated about how my numbers weren't going down really fast. This is going very sloppily. Um, and he said, you know, don't, I don't want you concentrating on one specific number. He said, you know, you were, and I said this and he agreed. Um, one, two, three, skip one, pooped. Um, I was sick for a long time, you guys. I was, um, not being honest with myself. I also wasn't eating like an adult. Um, okay, one, two, one, two. And um, you can't, I mean, let's be real. I did it to myself. You know, I had somebody tell me today, well, you don't deserve it. Mm, I don't know. Our actions do have consequences, you guys. And... I think I'm going to have to write in first before I... Our actions have consequences. And I've always been able to, like, own my shit. Pain level on this. Okay. I can't... I can't... Um, I can't write and talk. So we'll just have to hang out quietly together. I took meds. AM, PM, low, medium, high. And then uh, got water in. I'm just going to put water and pooped. Okay, yes, yes. And then uh, stopped eating by eight. So, yeah, this layout's really been working the last two weeks. Um, so anyways, you know, you can't, I was living, I was, okay, first of all, I, as I'm starting to be more aware of carbs and things like that, I realized that I was probably eating thousands and thousands of grams of carbs a day. Cooper's meds stopped eating by 8 p.m., Hang on. Eight PM. Yes. And then AM. Ugh. He's so he's such a good dog. He's such a good dog. All right. And so um that kind of like Kind of blows my mind how my eating and I thought I thought it wasn't gonna have any consequences. I I really was cocky. 
glucose and weight, sleep hours, and shame on me. And I say that to myself with love. Okay, is this one? Yeah, groceries. I love this planner, you guys. It's so amazing. Now, this wouldn't work for me um, as a weekly planner. No way. It's uh, sleep hours, glucose, weight. I don't know. The other thing is... Ugh. I just screwed up. I'm going to have to white it out, and it is what it is. It's a work in progress. Okay, this is sleep hours. I suppose I could have just switched them, but um, I don't want to. Wait. Snack before bed. I forgot what I was saying, but basically, you know, um, I don't feel like I'm being too tough on myself by saying that um, my behavior caused this. Groceries. Now, I like this because the other reason why I like to have a grocery list in this is, is this going to, I need like a piece of paper. I think that. Oh, yeah, it is wet. Okay. Um, glucose. Well, that worked out okay. Okay, the other reason why I like the groceries here is because I was also in a really bad habit of just like, oh, I feel like this. Oh, I feel like that. And then going to the grocery store, and then I end up, I end up buying way more than I need. Uh, I was compulsively buying junk food and um, I also was telling myself because I'm down 65 pounds in the last uh, two years is um, okay this was a freebie from planning with Kay is um, oh I forgot something um, I'm writing it down if I've got a hankering for it and then when I go to the grocery store I go to this list and that's what I'm allowed to buy and that's also been helping a lot. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. So I only weigh myself on Monday, Wednesday, Friday now. And I'm putting the grocery sticker in the right place now. <laughs> Actually. Ah, oh, you guys. You guys, it's tough filming sometimes. All right, so this week's sticker from Pookie Bear Cuties up here. And I just went through my stickers and thought, oh, what do I have that I can use? This is from Krell's Creation. It's a scale. It's so cute, and it has so much detail in it. So we're going to put that right there. And then I'm going to slide that. That'll go back into the back pocket. Okay. So this is not dated. So all I've been doing is just adding some marker and then the date dots. So we've got, and these are transparent. I like them because they don't take up a lot of space and I can see them obviously with the marker. 31. And I don't use date dots in the back journaling section because I just, I don't want to fuss about it. Okay, number three. And then I just keep this in the back and it's always with the planner so that when I sit down, I don't have to start hunting for things. Okay. Um, all right, so let's pick, you guys, I decided before I started filming that I wanted to, I just love the funniness of having the candy be part of the food journal. <laughs> I don't know if that's naughty or not, but oh my goodness. <laughs> so I'm going to put 
I'm gonna put the cupcake right here with the groceries and then put that right here. Okay, my battery's running low, so we're gonna have to hurry this up. Okay, and then I thought the heart garland would be really pretty there. So I'm gonna add that, but I'm gonna have to cut off the, the last heart. And then we're gonna add some, some candy or something. Again, my doctor's probably gonna be like, what is this? <laughs> I'll be like, it's my planner. <laughs> okay, and then um, let's do let's do the cup of coffee up here. Kind of offset it. There we go. All right. <laughs> I'm just laughing at myself. You know what? You gotta if you man if you lose your sense of humor, it's it's a that's not a good sign. Okay, at least for me. All right, so I'm gonna just make a line at the bottom and the top, just add some color. Let that dry a second. So I've traditionally, there's like hundreds of pages here. So I've only been using like one page for, for a whole week. So I know that if I run long on some weeks, I'm going to have enough space, plenty of space. So I'm going to choose the candy hearts, the popcorn, and the chop. Oh, I'm, I got to I gotta use it all, you guys. Um, so let's do the little sundae up here and then the candy hearts down here gorgeous I might have to order a second one of these because they're so it's so pretty okay and then I'm gonna pull this out and just it's gonna be Monday yay and put that back in I'm hurrying because my battery's gonna die um, and then let's do one, let's see, we've got to do, we've got to do the popcorn. I love popcorn. And so we'll do it right here. And then I, th I think we're going to call it because I want to leave enough space. So check out planning with K, you guys check out Pookie Bear Cuties. I'll have it all listed below and then I'll put all this back. Listen. I so appreciate you guys watching my videos. I appreciate you listening. Um, you know, um, it's it's working for me. And um, <clears throat> I am just so grateful that I was able to find something to easily track. Um, I'm going to call it progress, you guys, to track my progress and to journal my wins and my fails. I want to thank Heather, my friend from Planner Mumsy, that helped me with that. My friend Sarah, Sarah Martinez, she's doing really well. Um, She's been there for me, uh, Elvira, my mommy, my mom, I love my mom, and uh, Mary. Mary's been kind of barky, but that's okay. She was really worried about me for a long time, so it's going to be okay, and I am going to do great, and I'm only going to get better from here, so I want to thank everybody. I hope this inspired you to do something the same if you need it. Um, even It doesn't even have to be a health something. It can be work studying whatever i love this planner paper test designs um it has everything that i need for this so thank you so much for watching everybody give me a thumbs up subscribe and always enjoy today bye everybody